Today we'll be delving into the twisted and gruesome world of the Terrifier movies. Specifically, we'll be dissecting the superpowers of the franchise's malevolent antagonist, Art the Clown. From supernatural strength to resurrection and demonic influence, Art is no ordinary slasher villain. So, grab your popcorn, turn off the lights, and let's explore Terrifier. Art the Clown's 5 Grossest Superpowers First up, let's talk about Art the Clown's seemingly unnatural strength. Despite his slender frame, Art showcases a level of strength that goes beyond human capabilities. Whether it's effortlessly carrying a bag of murder tools for long distances or committing gruesome acts like tearing off limbs and feasting on organs, Art's sadism is matched only by his grim strength. As we anticipate Terrifier 3, it's unnerving to think about the potential escalation of his brutality, especially with children possibly becoming victims. Next on our list is Art's ability to come back from the dead, seemingly endlessly. The first Terrifier movie left audiences questioning Art's nature after his resurrection. In Terrifier 2, we witness him being killed multiple times, only to return. However, a mysterious blade hints at a possible way to put him down for good. But the shocking twist involving Victoria's rebirth and the little pale girl adds a layer of complexity to Art's immortality. Is the little pale girl Art's familiar, and how will this connection unfold in Terrifier 3? Speaking of the little pale girl, her enigmatic presence raises intriguing questions about Art's supernatural ties. Is she his familiar, responsible for his resurrections? The end of Terrifier 2 leaves us with Victoria giving birth to Art's severed head, hinting at a deeper mystical link. As we speculate on the little pale girl's role, it's likely we'll see more of her in the upcoming installment, further exploring the connection between Art and this eerie figure. Moving on, let's discuss Art's ability to exert his demonic influence on those he victimizes. The unexpected twist in the first movie, where Victoria is revealed to be the murderer, suggests that Art has a dark influence over his victims. With Sienna and Jonathan surviving their encounters with Art, a symbolic battle between good and evil emerges. Will Jonathan succumb to Art's influence, or does he possess a unique resistance to the clown's dark powers? Terrifier 3 holds the answers. Lastly, Art's peculiar pattern of returning only on Halloween might be changing. The teaser trailer for Terrifier 3 hints at a Christmas-themed nightmare, suggesting Art's powers may be evolving. If the events occur in the same calendar year as Terrifier 2, it raises questions about the time it takes for Art to return, even from severe injuries. Sienna's blade may no longer be sufficient to halt Art's gruesome comebacks, leaving us to wonder how the holiday horrors will unfold in the upcoming film. And there you have it, folks, Art the Clown's five grossest superpowers dissected and analyzed. As we eagerly await Terrifier 3, it's clear that this sadistic villain is far from ordinary. What horrors will he unleash next? Only time will tell. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the world of Terrifier, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, the next time you hear a faint sound of jingling bells, it might not be Santa coming down the chimney.